Hello everyone, glad to have you back. I've been gone for a while. Uh, Molly and the, and the six kittens were sort of uh, uh, making it difficult to work in here. They were down underneath this desk. Now they're gone to another place where they're taking, being taken care of because they were getting out of their box and everything. So uh, we'll be adopting them out. They were beautiful kittens right here over here. But now I'm back on, on, on uh, uh, this, this session to continue. We're on the ninth session of Take Ten with My Father. We left off with the Father showing how much He loved us by sending His Son. John 3.16 God so loved the world that those who believe in Him may not perish but have eternal life. He sent His Son and in His Son He also suffered because what happens to one person of the Blessed Trinity God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit happens to all of them. And He, and he wanted to show how much He loved us by giving, sending Him the most what He loved the most his own son. They were so love, in love with each other, constantly in love. He, and he let him go and become, and the son wanted to be obedient to the father. And so he emptied himself of all his prerogatives as, as a God. And he, he couldn't give them up, but he was still God. And, and, and became one of us flesh, born in Bethlehem, lived a hidden life of 30 years, three, three, three years in public life, teaching us, showing the way to the father. And, and this suffering and dying on the cross that we may be saved because our sins cut us off from God made us enemies of God and we, he brought us back in union with the God through his death and resurrection that we may save now on earth and have a happy life on earth even though we have suffering and life forever in heaven and so now we're picking it up here and, and God the Father is continuing to talk how he's loved us through his son uh, and here, here is God the Father's words. Of course, I can understand my children's weaknesses. Because of this, I ask my son to give them the means to get up again after they have, have fallen. So his son brought the means to get up again and 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 and. and and, and, and start walking toward heaven again and start being in union with God again because without God we're, there's no happiness here on earth or in, in the next world uh, without God only God is our uh, our joy and our happiness and our peace and our security there's no other place to go except God because we were made for God our hearts are restless until they rest in God as St. Augustine says now what are these means? these means that, that we can get up after we have fallen these means will help them to purify themselves from their sins. Sin is, is what makes us miserable. Sin is what keeps us away from God and away from one another too, by the way. Sin is just awful. It's, it's, it's living hell. Uh, we say hell is, is, is aloneness, complete, total, cut off from God, cut off from everybody. We're angry with everybody. Hell's just, they're biting and scratching each other for eternity. Okay. Uh, but we, we have a little bit sin is hell on earth too uh, so uh, so anyway let me get these means will help them to purify themselves from their sins so that they may still be the children of my love then we're back in God's love there's nothing we have to fear because God said he'll take care of everything he knows what you need, what you are to eat, what you are to need to eat and drink and 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 uh, and, and and close yourself in the sermon of the mouth. He knows it's. Don't worry about those things. He got them all. He's got it. Got you covered. Uh, seek first the kingdom. Just uh, the only thing you're gonna is seeking the kingdom, loving God with all our being, and because of them, loving others. Okay, what are these means to become children uh, of my love again? These, they are, here we are, they are chiefly the seven sacraments. The seven sacraments. The Father's words again. And the greatest means of securing your salvation, despite your falls, is the cross. Is the cross. Jesus is on the cross. This was the greatest means. This was a way we were restored to life by Him paying the price of our sins. Our sins were infinite. I had infinite uh, punishment because we uh, we we offended an infinite God. Only God could have made up for that, and He's the second person of Blessed Trinity, and He bought us, He redeemed us, and brought us back to life by giving His life for us. And the Father is the one that sent Him, and He became obedient to the Father, even to death on the cross for our salvation. 
Okay, so the greatest means was a, it's a cross. Now let's keep on going about those means. Okay, the, and, uh, and the greatest means of securing your salvation despite your falls is the cross. My son's blood poured out upon every uh, upon you every moment, every moment that uh, the, the, the 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 effects of the cross, his, his the the giving of his precious blood, shedding of his precious blood to the last drop of his precious blood, it's constantly poured on us the effects of the of of, of, of his 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 death on the cross. My son's blood poured out upon you every moment, if you so wish both in and how is it poured on what's the means of that if you wish both in the sacrament of penance that's confession we know when the in the name of Jesus not the priest he's uh, the, the Jesus is veiled in the priest he's hidden in the priest when the priest is uh, or an ordained priest uh, was absolves us in the name of Jesus in the person of Jesus in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit we know we're absolved we know that's the one way the precious blood uh, cleanses of our sins and 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 in the whole and the in the other way is the holy sacrifice of the mass we because we don't just have a memorial like Thanksgiving remembering the pilgrims and the Indians and all that on Plymouth Rock it's not just a past thing it's a it's making the Calvary is making the cross present and bloody now under the signs of bread and wine and we encounter his body and blood that saves us in in the Eucharist in Holy Communion so those are the means that Jesus left us at the Last Supper uh, and, 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 and on Easter Sunday when he breathed on them the Holy Spirit on Easter Sunday the Apostle says oh, he's, he's risen and everything and he said whose sins you shall forgive they are forgiven whose sins you shall retain they are retained he's given the power to the church to, to do this to, to forgive our sins so through the sacrament of penance or confession and the, and and the, and, the, and, the, and of the holy of the holy sacrifice of the mass isn't that wonderful we have hope i am so grateful to be with you thank you for coming uh, i i i hope you can watch the if you have missed any of your previous ones this is number 9 in in the session there are only 10 minutes or less some of them are less uh, not many of them but there're 10 minutes anyway of your time to learn about how much the Father is pleading with us to have a personal relationship with Him. Yeah, like, like here, He's put down His crown. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, I said, he put down His crown to, for, for, uh, and, and has sat down with, with Sister Eugenia to explain this to her. That, that He wants, wants us to not be afraid of Him, His glory, because we, have, we, we, have rever we must reverence Him. He is God worthy of all our reverence. But he also wants us to be familiar with him, like a child with his, her father, with his, his father, father. And and these and these, and just to remind you, all these pictures here, these are pictures of people that that I know. Uh, well, you know too. This is a little flower. She loved the father. She called. She loved the father. She she trusted the father. She taught us the little way of spiritual childhood to be a. a uh, to do everything to please the Father, to let the Father pick up her up uh, in His arms, to raise her to to uh, to the heights of perfection, the heights of Carmel, to holiness, to be a saint. Uh, she trusted the Father completely in every way and wanted to please the Father. This this is Sister Pauline Marie Heard, Sister Pauline uh, Pauline Marie Heard. She loved the Father too. She always uh, referred to the Father uh, as my Father. And some and some gave her a hard time because he, she's everybody's father. She says she knows that. She said I know that, but she she's also my father. She had an intimate, close relationship with the father. And she she's a sister of Mary of the Presentation. Their mother house is in Valley City, North Dakota, and she's buried in their their cemetery. She she died after a long, painful bout with breast cancer. And, but but she 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 is so beautiful and she just loved the father and this of course is is my 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 wife and co-founder of the mother of God Ministries Cynthia Louise Marie Rollahan she loved the father too she she she's got the eternal father devotion and all these things I'm talking to you about uh, uh, um, uh, 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 organized for us uh, and and uh, we could talk more about how she's loved the father he had great trust in in his providence. God bless you, everyone. 
may, may God bless you and, 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 and keep you. Uh, may you know how much the Father loves you. Go to the Father. Talk to Him. I, I just got finished with my coffee. After breakfast, I have coffee with Him uh, for a half hour in front of the, uh, a big picture of the Eternal Father. I am so grateful to be with you. And, and, uh, and, and